This is a video that looks at how we can use Desmos, a graph, online graphing calculator, to help us find the mean, the median, the mode, and to do some analysis of our data set. So, um, so in order to go to, in, in order to use Desmos, you'll go to the website desmos.com/calculator. Um, I'll put a link to that so that you have access to it. So I'm going to show you a data set here. Let's see if we can resize my screen a little bit. So I, let's start with this data set here. It's a uh, fairly basic one. It uh, has eight elements in it. So in order to enter a data set, you would type in um, a name, give it a name, and we typically use capital letters for that. Uh, so if I wanted to type in a data set, I would just type here B equals one of these square brackets, which is usually found on your keyboard around the enter key. And we could type in 45, 48, 49, and so on. And then we would just close the bracket. Once we have our list, we can then go ahead and create um, or uh, have Desmos calculate for us some value. So I'm just going to use set A here since it's already listed as a little bit bigger. So if we want to find the mean of set A, we type in the word mean, a round bracket, the letter A, and we hit enter and we get 6.75. So we can see the mean of this data set is 6.75. If you want to do the median, same idea. Type in the word median uh, and then uh, a round bracket, the letter A, and we can see that that appears there. Now there is no mode command unfortunately in Desmos, but here's what we can do. We can create a uh, what's called a dot plot. So type in the word dot plot bracket a and you'll get a sort of what's called a dot plot of the, the, the data and you can see that each one of these numbers that was in our list only appears once but if I add an extra one in the list it doesn't actually matter where I add it this list does not need to be in numerical order Desmos does the calculations for us I've added a one I can now see that there are two ones and only one of everything so the the uh, graph or the element with the highest number of dots would be the mode. So in this case I can see that one would be the mode. So that's a, a quick way to be able to look and tell what a mode is, which value is the mode. So again I can add a whole bunch of these and you can see every time I add one it adds a dot there so you can kind of see the difference. Alright let's go back to our original um, information. So we've got the mean, we've got the median, we did find the mode with a little bit of help. Um, quartiles we can calculate as well. So type in the word quartile. Tell it which set you're finding the quartile of. So we're finding this, the quartile of set A. And we put a comma and we tell it we want to find the first quartile. So the first letter indicates which set we're using and the second letter indicates uh, which quartile we want. Of course you do have to spell quartile correctly. Don't forget there's an R in there. If I hit enter I'll see that uh, the quartile is uh, sorry q1 is equal to 3 and it shows up right here let's do the same thing for q3 so type in quartile bracket from set a and now i want to find quartile 3 and we can see that we get 10.5 i'm going to hide this dot plot i could get rid of it by clicking on the x or i can actually hide it by just clicking on the uh, purple circle here on the left and now we're going to create a box plot. So to make a box plot, we just type in the word box plot and tell it which set we want to create a box plot of. And you can see that our box plot appears nicely. Our smallest value was one. Q1 was equal to three, and you can see that here. The median was 5.5, so the median here was 5.5, that matches up. Q3 is equal to 10.5, which you can see here and the largest value in our set was equal to 15 which is over here. So that's how we can use technology to help us especially for large da uh, data sets. You know if, if I gave you a thousand pieces of data you're not going to do the number crunching by hand there you're going to use some technology uh, and ideally I give it to you electronically so you could just copy and paste it right into here. So if you have a big set of data you could just copy that data right into here type A equals or whatever the name of your set is and then paste your data and go about doing it.